my education at Lawrence Tech helped me to be a better investigator. It gave me the skills that I have today to be able to help clients solve problems. My name is Chris Briest. I'm an audio engineer, and I'm the director of the audio engineering technology program at Lawrence Tech University. Oftentimes, someone going into the audio engineering field is expecting to be mixing music, while that is part of an audio engineering portfolio, there are a number of industries that heavily rely on audio engineers. Since I was in middle school, I knew I wanted to be an engineer of some sort. I looked into LTU, and I was interested in trying to combine engineering with something creative, so I thought audio engineering would be the perfect fit. I was a student I wasn't very focused. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And one day I stumbled upon the Lawrence Technological website, the audio engineering program, and was immediately drawn into uh, the studio and Chris and uh, the excitement. It turns out that this was a lot more than just producing music. It also had a lot of electronics courses. It was really the perfect combination of creativity and also being technical at the same time. There's five other key instructors that help comprise the entire audio engineering program. They actively work and function in various jobs in the audio engineering industry. It's not something that they used to do, it's something that they're doing right now. I started teaching in 2008, and I was teaching at Concordia in Eastern Michigan, teaching classical guitar and music theory. And uh, then uh, shortly thereafter, made the move to Lawrence Tech. Students who have completed the program have gone on to get jobs with uh, some notable companies, including Harman, uh, ESPN, and Panasonic. My name is Ben Blau, and I'm a faculty member here at LTU. I teach in the Bachelor of Science for Audio Engineering Technology program, also known as the BSAET program. There are lots of different subfields uh, in audio engineering, anything from music production to uh, uh, broadcast and live sound reinforcement and video game audio and post-production for films and television shows, etc. There are many different areas to get into. The audio program is kind of unique. The students that go into this program are the ones that are very passionate and it's like a hobby for them, more so than most other programs. And I think that's the driving force. And then when they go out to the studio and they see the facilities and get to talk to Chris and the faculty, oh, by the way, they all work in the industry, that takes away a lot of their apprehension. I'm the manager of acoustics at Harmon International for our car audio division. And I am a graduate of the Lawrence Tech audio program. So I started actually as an instructor last year for the uh, system integration class. So that was my first experience actually being an instructor, but um, I was obviously a student in the program for four years. So I think having some of that experience really helped me as an instructor, understanding what I felt I now know in the field and what I can bring to students now, you know, hopefully going into the field in the future. Um, but also some of the things I learned and I really wanted to reapply as well because I felt they were helpful. When we first started the program, and there are very few in the country that encompassed not only studio work, but also all the university work that you'd get in a normal university environment. This is probably one of the best studios in the Midwest. Audio engineering is vast as an industry. As people become more aware of that, I think that helps build that sense of security that this is an industry they can go into and succeed in. One thing I didn't realize about the audio engineering program that I was happy to discover was there are a lot of actual electronics and programming courses, and that really helped me become more well-rounded as an engineer and really prepared me to take on any sort of task that I would face in the field. The audio engineering program at Lawrence Tech really takes a student and draws out their gifts, their talents, and then sharpens them kind of like a diamond in the rough. Many recording engineers or many audio engineers of any variety get into audio engineering, not just because it can be lucrative, but also it's just because it's in their heart. It's something they must do. And uh, that has always been true for me. If it's true for you, pay us a visit. For more information, visit ltu.edu audio.